ahead of Orlando on the tiebreaker as we are underway from Red Bull Arena. Match the referee Kevin Bradley getting us started. It's Gotham and it's Orlando Pride. The Pride's most uncomfortable performance of the season, so if I'm the Pride, I'm looking to jump on. Well, it might be Gotham doing the jumping as Carly Lloyd goes for goal in the opening minute and a great save there from Ashlyn Harris to deny Carly Lloyd. It's a great early chance here for Gotham. Yeah, Lloyd scored in her first game back after announcing her retirement pending the end of the season. And there's a good shot and an excellent. Here's LaRue. Free lowing play on and now an opportunity from a long way out. It's a decent strike as well. It's a good hit there. Anumanu to try and take down in the area. Referee allowing play on here as it comes to Kawasumi. Trying to square it. Here's Carly Lloyd. His effort wasn't too far away. Just blazed over there. It's a square ball here for Lloyd, who's in a pocket of space. Doing well to cut on to a right, but doesn't have a window to shoot. Just lays off there for Zerboni. Tries to pass it into the corner. Harris down to her left well to make the save. Laid back there by Lee, but just losing out. Nice ball into the penalty area. Good recovery there from Didasco as Taylor was threatening. Doherty Howard trying from a long way out. LaRue wanted it to feet. MLS matches. Gotham can now break for here through Lee. So Dom Lee picking out Carly Lloyd. Cuts it inside. Carly Lloyd. A sliding intervention there from Presley, who does well in the 1v1 situation. Sometimes a rookie can win. LaRue with the dummy out here for Marta. Opens up the window to try and curl one. Tries to strike. It's just wide there. Sending it through the traffic. Attempting to go near post rather than for the curler. It's pretty good defending by Zerboni, though. Maybe she went in with the foot a little bit prematurely. Marta was able to get around that. Got a little bit of space. LaRue's playing as a makeshift right back there. Getting clear as we have the halftime whistle. But I think she was a little bit too deep. They need to figure out how to get her on the ball a little bit higher up the field. I also learned something, because I did not know that about the piano accordion and the guitar mm. for Marta. Certainly one of the better stories of 2021 is how well Caprice Didasco has played it outside back for Gotham. As Tim Rack tries to again try to apply the pressure, and it's gone in! And you can only say that she meant that given the lack of options, and that is an extraordinary goal from Orlando Pride to hit the front away from home. Thank you, Burley. But as you said, not that many options here. Johnson maybe could have done a better job stepping forward, but I don't think that's what you expect when you give Timrak just that little bit of space. Cody Taylor's had a bit of a rough go of it tonight. Created too many opportunities as Riley fouled there. And it's going to be a yellow card as well for Caprice Didasco. Allie Riley, by the way, since we're talking Rookies of the Year, the 2010 WPS Rookie of the Year when they, she was on the title team with FC Gold Pride. Women's professional football history, just to make sure we're not missing any in this match. It's, here are the changes. Marissa Vigiana will come in for the goal scorer. Erica Timrak, and you see she was LaRue. Jody Taylor well back there. Crosses in towards Pinto. Comes all the way through. No one went and won it. Comes for Lloyd. And again, a great save there from Ashton Harris. Harris got a piece of here. It comes in. And I thought right there, Lloyd maybe misjudged it, but she got on it. And I couldn't quite tell what happened. To... Melanie Sheehan will enter as well. And I'm surprised Didasco is coming off the field here. Anamano also heading out. Anamano has been the player that has scored the bulk of the late goals for Gotham FC. That you would trust Idasco not to pick up a second arrow. Nice ch chest there from Zerboni on here for Lloyd. Now long measuring the long distance effort. Better covering defending there from Sidney LaRue. And now Orlando can break. Only the one back as Marta Barrels in on the penalty area, looks for the next option, lines up a strike and has just put it high and wide there. Kawasumi now to take the corner, fizzing through, glancing in there from Long and it came for Zerboni, whose left-footed volleyed effort. And 
and they laid it on the dash for the final 10 minutes and finally broke through very late. It wasn't the, not quite the 90th minute, but Anamano scored to level that game late. And the dash coach, as we get another yellow card coming out here, this one on Gotham. Coming on there is Evelyn Vien, who will enter for McCall Zerboni. Zerboni who hands the captain's armband to Gina Lewandowski. Chris, I feel like the five subs that we've been using since the pandemic began can get teams a little bit more off kilter. It's, mm. uh, you know, that's more than half, almost half the team. So skilled on the ball, looking for the next option. Managed to find Koniak, who just dragged it on. Come here for Vigiano, but she had drifted offside. I don't think Korniak was expecting Marta to be able to get that ball to her, and it was sent in a little bit hard. Instead, we'll play it in, in towards the penalty spot. Strong header away there from Korniak, and there is the full-time whistle. Erica Timrak's wonder goal is enough, and Orlando have won away from home yet again this season. They've beaten Gotham FC by a goal to nil.